I too was once uh, in your seat a few years ago. I had my own ideas and inspiration, those things that only I knew about. And I was challenged to come to Q in DC and I, as I began to share those ideas with those around me, some people sort of looked at me and said, maybe you should wait until the Praxis presentations because what you're talking about sounds very similar to that. And lo and behold, my idea sort of presented itself on this stage. After they were done, I made a beeline and, and uh, introduced myself to Dave and Josh. And so it's uh, with great pleasure that I stand here uh, today and get to present on behalf of Praxis and the work of our wonderful entrepreneurs. As Gabe mentioned, it was a tight vote last night. And I'm first going to introduce our business accelerator uh, fellows that uh, advanced here to the main stage, Ben and Laura Harrison from Jonas Paul I Eyewear. We work with a lot of different entrepreneurs and their inspiration comes from a lot of different places. And so often the narrative of that inspiration is these mountaintop moments or these epiphanies. And that's sort of what we want, right? But what about a narrative where your venture started because of personal pain or suffering? It's an unfortunate one, but as James K.A. Smith talks about, we can, redemption is the reorientation of our culture making capacities. And that's exactly what the suffering has done in their life. It's reoriented their culture making capacities. And that's their venture, Jonas Paul Eyewear. Please welcome Ben and Laura Harrison to the stage. Hey everyone, we're Ben and Laura Harrison, and this is our son, Jonas Paul. He has a sensitive, gentle spirit. He loves Dr. Seuss, counting, imitating animals, and the smell of food being cooked in the kitchen, especially when it's his favorite food, which happens to be bacon. In his short life, he's already taught us to experience this world more fully using all five of our senses, because he was born without one of his. I can vividly remember the day when Jonas was born and the joy and excitement that I felt. And it's true when people say you never knew you could love so deeply. And I can also vividly remember when, jo when the doctors came in and told us that Jonas may be blind and the pain and heartache that came with that. Jonas's condition has been hard. He's already undergone 16 eye surgeries, all before his second birthday, and all with the hopes of giving him the most potential for sight. Every new parent has dreams of what their first child's gonna be like and what activities they're gonna do with them, like throwing a ball back and forth on a warm summer night or teaching them to ride their first bike or teaching them to drive their first car. And for us, for Laura and I, these dreams were taken away in an instant. But we found that they've been replaced by something that's actually more beautiful. You see, all of us who have children love the children we have regardless of who they are. There's something divine in loving your child without motive or expectation because it allows you to find beauty and hope in the existence rather than the achievements of your child. There's a compelling purity in parental engagement not with what should have been, but simply with what is. C.S. Lewis wrote that pain insists upon being attended to. God whispers in our pleasures, speaks in our consciences, but shouts in our pains. It's his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. And I can say with conviction that God has roused us and he's rewritten our story. And our new narrative includes suffering, but we have faith that really great things get built when life is difficult. And we're confident our son Jonas Paul will have a compelling story to share and inspire others. And our hope is that Jonas Paul Eyewear will be a vehicle for change. So some of you may be asking, how did you get into children's eyewear? So thank you for asking. Um, after the doctors, after his first few surgeries, the doctors told us that they did think he had potential for sight. So I, being the stylish father that I am, began researching options because I was determined that if he was gonna wear glasses at a young age, they were gonna be a fashion statement and he was gonna look like a little stud muffin wearing them. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know if any of you have children in your families that wear glasses, but unfortunately the existing options out there were incredibly cost prohibitive and were downright ugly to be frank. So like you do shortly after you have your first child, you start a children's eyewear company <laughs> with the focus on fashion forward prescription glasses at a very affordable price point. Another aspect to this business that was very important to us was what we call our Buy Sight, Give Sight program in which we donate 10% of every frame sale to our partner Christian Blind Mission to provide sight to those in need. We knew how helpless we felt and we had access two hours away to doctors that could actually provide our son with sight. And so we wanted to pass that blessing along to others who didn't have that access. 
Our first year in business was incredibly encouraging. The response has been amazing. And how our model works is you can go onto our website, order a free home try-on kit. Your child can try on the glasses in the comfort of their own home. Parents can take pictures, post them to Facebook, allow their friends to tell them how adorable their child is. Then they can go back to our website and order prescription frames. In our short existence, we've received some incredible press, which has been really encouraging to us. But what's been more encouraging has just been the countless stories we've received from parents just telling us for the very first time their child feels beautiful and confident in his or her glasses, which just brings such joy to our hearts. And we just want to leave you with a quote um, from a mom that recently wrote us that said, I just wanted to send my sincere gratitude for creating frames that won't make my daughter feel different. She has frames now like mommy and daddy and thinks that princesses sent her the box to try on. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing what you are doing. Your son is absolutely adorable, and in his short life, I am sure he has changed the lives of many, ours included. Thanks so much. Thank you.